Hello there and welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. Very pleased to be chatting with some of the folks from Running With Ed. It's coming up in just a couple of weeks. I can't believe it's almost around the corner, but we have it joining us Jackie. She is the manager of the Lululemon store here in town, right here in the middle. Welcome, Jackie. And also Haley, she is the running ambassador for Lululemon as well as owns her own company, Run For The Love Of It. And then we have Kevin Rell. You've been here before, Kevin. Nice to have you back. Thank of course, you. fitness trainer and works with Silver Mountain Sports Club. You guys are here to get us motivated and revved up to get up there and start training because sometimes <laughs> I know we, we just kind of say it to the last minute and gosh Haley you just got back from a class. Yes I did. <laughs> yes. So there's like, some gleam, there's gleam on me. That's why. Well that's motivation <laughs> enough. She's up and at it already and it's still only 720. Gosh it's crazy but nice to have you guys here today. Let's chat first um, both uh, with Kevin and then Lululemon about how you guys both wanted to get involved. Uh, let's start with you Jackie. What you guys have been doing running with Ed for a little while. So we participated last year on behalf of Run for the Love of It. We created a team and ran with Haley. Um, we had some shirts made up that kind of helped boost her company and we had a great time. I know you guys have some photos. It was a lot of fun. So we just wanted to be a part of it once again. And of course, we're partnering with our ambassador, Run for the Love of It, and really getting out into the community and just being a part of beautiful Park City. Excellent. And Kevin, of course, Silver Mountain, once again, helping out with getting people trained, getting us motivated. And when you've been on the show in the past, he really like makes you want to be more fit, just even just talking to him. <laughs> You're just like, oh my gosh, I need to go do something. But tell me about the involvement of Silver Mountain with Running With It. Well, first of all, thank you for that compliment. And people sure. have said, sometimes I walk into a room and I start talking, they're like, man, I'm losing weight just listening to you talk. <laughs> I believe it. I do. Yeah. Well, I, I, I really like to get people motivated, yes, as you know. Um, and I love to do things that involve preserving the earth, helping the world, helping people out, and so on and so forth. So when I heard about Silver Mountain taking on this um, project where they wanted me to spearhead a group of people for the Running With Ed program, I just jumped on it in a second. Anytime I can do something cool like that. So I would like to get a group of people, anyone who goes to Silver Mountain or any of you out there, if you want to do it, we're doing a six week course over there, nice. which I'm gonna be leading. Um, we can talk a little bit more about that later. Yeah, yeah. But it just fires me up when I can get a um, group of motivated people on the same brainwave and doing something cool for a uh, positive outcome in the end. <gasps> That's so cool. I yeah. love to have folks like you guys involved in this. And, it, and even, I mentioned before, even if you don't have children in the Park City education system, this is something that I, I wish we could all recognize that when you're investing in children, you, you invest in your community, the future of the, of the city and essentially the state and uh, how those children grow up and are raised, I think a lot of that affects it. So it's very far reaching and long term. It's not just a short term sort of thing we're looking at here. So let's first start off with the fact that we have eight weeks until running with Ed. Okay, let's get close. <laughs> and registration closes in three weeks, so we need to get started training. Of course, that's why you guys are here. So the Lululemon store in town, you guys are known, of course, for your yoga and yoga gear, but you also offer great running apparel. Tell me about that for a sec. We do. Haley can I'm probably not, speak to it the yes. most because she wears it day in and day out. <laughs> <laughs> right. It is my everyday wardrobe. Um, I am a big proponent of getting some fun clothes on to motivate yourself to go out. Uh, one of my favorite features Lululemon running tights have is the side pockets. Mm -hmm. You can put your cell phones in here. I've actually run uh, with flip flops in here because I was doing a long 20 miler and I didn't want to, I wanted to be able to take my shoes off right when I got in and I put flip flops right in here. Um, but I, uh, I don't reward myself with food. My father once told me you're not a dog, don't reward yourself with food. Wow, that's a good I one. reward myself with Lululemon. I can make a quote out of that yeah, well, on the wall. Ray Coleman, you can quote it. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I reward myself with Lululemon. Oh, love yeah. that quote is killing me. Oh my gosh. Oh man, that's great. That really is. Okay, so Jackie, share with me a little, you, you were mentioning uh, Haley's involvement before, but also how you guys have done some fun things in the past. I don't know if we saw those photos yet, but you guys have really enjoyed your involvement with running with Ed and as I said it's something that it's so great to see local businesses partner with a cause like this and you guys do that yeah we're working again with run for the love of it um, in regards to being a part of running with Ed this year we're gonna help host a transition station and really just throw ourselves into the community one more time it's what we love to do it's kind of our emphasis and anything that we can do to support any of our ambassadors um, we're just always on board. Excellent. Then you are also offering for evening loosen your legs for running with Ed trainings. 
yes. tell me about that. Yeah, Haley can kind of speak to yeah, that too. It. They'll be departing from the store, but a really great opportunity we'll to get ready. We'll do four fun runs. Um, I think a big part of running with Ed is the community and the friendship aspect. So it's just getting out there, having fun, socializing, um, getting our legs moving. And if you can handle a run to and from the top of Main Street, you can handle almost any leg on uh, running with Ed. All right, and that happens, the training sessions, the 24th and 30th of April, then May 17th and 14th. Yep. Is that right? Yep, so it'll be yeah. the last four weeks leading up to How the race. How do you register for that or get involved? You just show up. Just show up? Yep. Oh. Complimentary. We'll post on the Brilliant. Run for Love It Facebook okay. page. We'll post, I'm sure, on Lulam. They'll share on the Lululemon Facebook page. You can check for details. All right, excellent. And then also, you, we have also other ways that you guys give back to the community. And you have being a wonderful race partner, you know, to say the least, for running with Ed. Anything else to add, Jackie, about your guys' involvement? Oh, we're just excited to be a part of it again. It's something that the community loves to do. It's great to see everybody come out from different businesses, um, from family homes to organizations. It seems like everyone partakes, and we just love to be a part of that. We love to be in our community, and we love to support our ambassadors and what they're up to as well. Excellent. Very good. Now, Kevin, yes. they have their training thing going on. As you, as you mentioned, you also have some help in that arena as well. Let's first give a, a brief background. If you were to describe yourself in one sentence <laughs> in terms of what you do and your focus in life, and it, I mean, you could definitely sense that passion that you have to get people out there all for a good cause. How would you sum that up? In a sentence or a word? Uh, either. You can do either. <laughs> I'll um, give you a sentence. There you go. <laughs> um, that's really hard to do in a sentence. I'll get, you can have three. <laughs> well, um, I take a holistic approach to everything. Right. So I don't think there's like one piece of a puzzle when it comes to running, when it comes to yoga, when it comes to being an ambassador of goodwill. So I put all the pieces together and I try to create a body that I call superhuman. And I know it may sound egotistical, but bear with me for a second. <laughs> So people who come to the gym or come to me, they, they say, I want to lose weight, I want to gain mobility, I want to get stronger, I want to get bigger, whatever, I want to press chicks on the beach, I don't care, that's fine and dandy. I don't care about any of that, it's all fluff to me. What I get to is I get to the heart of the matter and I say, what do you really want, what do you do outside? Because everyone in this town does something. They ski, they bike, they're hardcore doing something out there. So I take all these ingredients of the stuff they do outside the gym, and that's how I, that's how I treat individual prospects and then in my group format as well, in classes, I try to make people more flexible, more mobile, better joints, stronger, and more um, proprioceptively aware of their surroundings when they're out on the streets. Because I want people to prevent falls, I want them to be able to perform maximally with everything they're doing out there. So I take running the same exact way. So when someone comes and says, I want to I run better, or I want to be able to have more endurance or something like that, I'm like, great. So you can train your legs all you want to do that. But the thing is, I think running is more important from the waist up. So I just say, when I run, it's all about my legs are just going along for the ride. And I don't focus on my legs at all. Because if you put too much emphasis on your legs, you have a chance of your legs dying on you and getting tired. If you put all the emphasis on your upper body, which is where most of the drive occurs anyway, making sure you have good posture, making sure you're looking straight ahead, making sure you're pumping your arms the right way, your core is strong, your back is strong. If your back starts giving out, you're finished. You're done as a runner. So if your core is weak, your back is done. So you want to get all the stuff above the waist firing on all cylinders more so than the bottom half because the legs are just going to move anyway you know it's just a mental thing mm -hmm. so that's kind of my emphasis on the whole idea in the project so when I meet these people that hopefully will sign up so please sign up yeah. we need a group of five to ten or something like that doesn't matter and I may actually run the, the race get too. ready for running yes the bed class. yes yeah, kind of give us a, a schedule in terms of what we can expect how often we're meeting with you what that includes well it's going to start on April 11th as far okay. as my program is concerned mm -hmm. you're going to meet with me twice a week Monday, Wednesdays at 5.30. Um, and we're going to be focusing on some of the stuff I'm talking about right, right. now. It's going to be three-dimensional movement patterns. And it's going to be strengthening the core. I want to do a quick running assessment to see what people's mechanics look like. Um, I'm a big four-foot striker. So that's, that, that can't be accomplished in like one session. Mm -hmm. But um, just getting a really quick analysis of how people are moving and running. If I see something that's like really wonky or their feet are going way out like this or they're really hitting hard with their heels, mm -hmm. I'm going to make a couple quick corrections. And then we're going to go right into all these things I was just talking about. Strengthening the core, creating more, because um, if they're running on a trail, for example, and they hit a little pebble and their foot goes in or out like this, if you're not ready for that to happen, you can sprain your ankle like that and you're done. Oh, so I want to make sure people are ready to um, experience the demands of a race environment. And I also, speaking of race, 
I need to find out if they want to run or if they want to race. There's a difference. Mm -hmm. If you want to run it, that's great. Mm -hmm. We'll wear two pink tutus and have fun and whatever we do. <laughs> I saw someone with a canoe or a, a <laughs> yeah. kayak in whatever. one of the running with the head photos. <laughs> we can jazz it up and we can do the, sure. do the running thing. But if they want to race, that's a different ball game. Mm -hmm. Then we're getting serious. We're getting in the trenches. We're going to do some high intensity sprint work. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I shouldn't have given my secrets away. away. <laughs> I have this big thing about anaerobic capacity as, mm -hmm. a, as opposed to an, um, aerobic. So doing sprint work and getting your anaerobic threshold really high, you're going to be able to meet any demands of, of an aerobic capacity whatsoever. So if they want to race, then we're going to work in the anaerobic zone most of the time. We're going to be doing sprints. We're going to be doing high intensity intervals and stuff like that. Because then it's going to be easy to you know, just chug along at a light pace the whole way. Right. And then the, the demands of like hills and different things like that. And, that staircase down there at, what is it called, the Olympic Park. Oh, yeah. That looks pretty brutal. <laughs> and we're going to go to a quick break. When we get back, we'll chat more about that. Okay. Like of the race as well as how you can get involved in, in Kevin's program as well as more from Lululemon. That's after this. Stay tuned. You're watching the Mountain Morning Show. Hello there and welcome back. Continuing our conversation with Kevin Rail from Silver Mountain Sports Club. And this is, of course, about the partnership and what's going on with Running With Ed. But now we're getting into the nitty gritty of what you need to know when it comes to training and preparing for a race. If that's what you're choosing to do with Running With Ed or just, you know, learning how to run better. Kevin, you were sharing with me some really fascinating insights into the value of actually training yourself how to run properly because we train for skiing we train to get the right soccer sort of technique at tennis you name it but how often are people actually training for running mm -hmm. that's, that's probably infuriating to you <laughs> to watch people do it wrong well it's i want to go as far as saying it's infuriating it's it's it definitely raises my eyebrow though i can tell you that much you're concerned but for it i'm concerned we'll that. Thank yes you. yes <laughs> i've got a, i've got a big heart yes um so i see I just call them atrocities all the time in the fitness industry, mm -hmm. Mo mostly on like YouTube and like advertisements and stuff and people using kettlebells wrong and doing lifts wrong and all these other things. But I also see the same type of thing with, with running mechanics as well. Mm -hmm. there's, there's just like two or three little tweaks you can make in the way you run that's going to improve your performance by, by eons. It's the way you fix your gaze when you're running, the way you pump your arms, the way you keep your, your, your gait held, your shoulders broad, different things like that that can make a really huge difference and all the way breathing. down to your foot strike. And breathing. And breathing, thing, right? breathing, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay, so uh, along with that, you mentioned how it's kind of like waist up where you have a lot of focus, but also the equipment you have, your shoes. Yes. Let's chat about that for yes. a moment. Well, there's all kinds of different shoe promotions in the world these days. Mm -hmm. there's, there's the thick soled shoes and um, there's, there's zero heel drop, there's barefoot fitness, all these other things. I actually am a barefoot runner. If I was actually to participate in the Running With Ed program, which is not out of the question yet, I may actually jump in the trenches nice. with my team. Um, I don't think I would do the whole race barefoot. Mm -hmm. I might do some of it, but like um, um, Haley? Haley was saying, she had those pockets in the side and she had the flip-flops oh, yeah. in them. Yeah. And that was kind of funny because when I was first learning how to run barefoot, I would, I would take my shoes with uh -huh. me and I'd stick them in my pocket. I have minimalist shoes. I have these ones called Sockwas that's, that are really thin, they're like one millimeter. And mm -hmm. they look like, kind of look like socks, but they have a little Probably your thing, so on. Yes. That you might hit, yeah. The problem with going completely barefoot with running with Ed would be the fact that there's there's a lot of terrain that's sketchy. Mm. I don't want to get splinters in my feet running on the stairs. Right. I don't want to get go over jagged rocks on trails and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, be smart about it. Still. So. Yeah, you got to be smart. That's what you teach your team to do. Correct. You were exactly. mentioning it's not just about the running; it's being aware of your surroundings, yes. understanding the terrain. Because um, explain lightly, I guess, some of the differences between you know the a flat terrain versus you know over at the UOP. There's like this big incline right. that we have. Your running style will be different for those. Absolutely. So that's more of, I would call that, that, that big stair climb a grind. Mm -hmm. So you have, I have, I have basically two, two methods of training. I have ballistics and I have grinds. A ballistic is pretty easy to figure out. It's a fast paced, high, in high intensity movement pattern or exercise. Like, you know, I've got kettlebell background as well. So we do a lot of ballistic stuff like snatches, swings, high pulls, things like that. They're really snapping really fast like that, that have a lot of force production behind them. Mm -hmm. So when you hear the word ballistic, just think about a ballistic tip missile or a bullet being shot and it goes really fast and boom, it explodes. So it's like really boom, punchy and snappy. Okay. So when you hear of grind, think of like crawling on your belly through mud and muck, kind of like a Spartan race when you're grinding your way through or grinding your way through shrubs or bushes to get to the other side to escape enemy warfare or something like that. Mm -hmm. So in the race, the, a, a race like, 
well, I keep calling it a race, but running with Ed, for example, there could be situations where you have some ballistics and you have some grinds going on. So if you're going down the, the flat stretch to the end of the race and someone's like riding your tail and you want to smoke them or beat them, you're going to have to get deep and you're going to have to dig hard and you're going to have to work on what I was telling you before about really squeezing your core and pumping your arms really hard and hitting a ballistic point of view. So you're going to have to like sprint. Mm -hmm. And then going up that stairway, that's just a complete grind and that's 99% mental. Mm -hmm. So you got to get in the trenches and you just got to go a nice slow pace and just keep on trucking up there. So a lot of it is mental as well. You really would say that that's 99% mental mm -hmm. with the going up the stairs. Wow. 99%. Isn't that incredible? I yeah. think we often forget that aspect of it, and that's why you need to get involved with Kevin's class here. How do we register for it and sign up and get help that you're offering? You, can, you can come right to Silver Mountain and either ask for me or you can sign up at the front desk, um, or you can reach me personally. Mm -hmm. on, I'm on all the outlets. You know, I'm on, I'm on Facebook and um, Twitter as well, and... Um, at Trainer Rail, by the way. Follow me on Twitter. Nice. And um, LinkedIn as well. Okay, excellent. So I'm out there. Just look for me. Very good. Well, uh, well, and always default back to Silver Mountain if you can't find me any other way. That's right. They have, uh, of course, him listed there on their site as well. Yeah. But Kevin, thank you so much for You're the welcome. insights and the overview. Remember, we have just a couple, about a month and a half or so before the Running with Ed event arrives. So get in on that if you want to train. And as you said, if you, it's different between running the race versus act race. Or racing the race, if you will. Like yes, it's too <laughs> A difference, so make sure you know how you want to do it. And regardless, he can definitely help you with that technique. So thank you yep, so much. Yep, you got it, thank we'll you. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Much more happening here on the Mountain Morning Show. Cool. This car wasn't made in Detroit or Tokyo or Mexico City. This, the mini club 